whatever they do. Being married to an entrepreneur is hard work, but it's worth it when it works. You got your hands full every day like I do. You got kids, you got a, you know, a marriage that you're trying to work, you're tr a business that you're trying to make work. And finding time for the kids and keeping it spontaneous. Boy, that was good last night. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nobody teaches you how to manage a business or manage a relationship or marriage. Everybody's just trying to do the best that they can. The purpose of the show is to give you some tools on how to make the marriage and the business work. We don't do it perfect, but we're figuring it out. Hello and welcome to the G&E Show. Every Wednesday, we're bringing it to you at noon Eastern Standard Time. You are watching GrantCardoneTV.com. I appreciate it. For all the Facebook Live folks that are watching, you can also, I encourage you to go to Grant Cardone and subscribe to the network. There's amazing um, entrepreneurial type information there, a wealth of information that is free to you from Mr. G and me and others that contribute. So I encourage you to look at that. Grant Cardone is in Las Vegas. I thought he was gonna be home last night. But no, 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 no. Something happened, and I can only imagine that it was the creation of our success, more of it. So, I have no problem with him not being here today because I have his back, always. He's got mine. Um, so today I decided to do the show on build an empire, okay? Do I have an empire? I would say a lot of people could say yes. What do y'all think? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Okay. In my world, I haven't hit my empire. My empire is when I hit Billy status. Okay. That might be way too much for some people, but that's my world. That's my target, and that's when I'm like, okay, my empire is built. Now, how do I maintain, sustain, grow, contribute, help more people? That's that's my goals. But anyway, I thought build an empire was a good topic because I think a lot of people can look at Grant and myself and think we have it all, we have the empire. And I would like to acknowledge that we do. I, I thank God, myself, whoever, everyone that's contributed and helped, but I also like to contribute. Um, I love throwing my pen around apparently. <laughs> Anyway, so the first thing I want to talk about in building your empire is somebody actually wrote me recently on Instagram. Oh, thank you. And, um, you know, they were talking about relationships. And I wrote back, it's not always easy. But if you find the one you trust, you can build an empire. And then they wrote that back to me. And I was like, wow, that's a good quote by Elena Cardone. I actually come up with some good quotes, too. <laughs> But anyway, build an empire. So I'm going to walk you back through the steps. Now, I know this isn't the only way, because I'm sure other people have their own stories. This is my story. If I can help you fast track in any way, that is why I give you build an empire. The first most important thing is what I just said. Find the person you trust and then build your empire. So it's called picking right. Picking right, number one. Okay, so how do you pick? First of all, I'd like to, to tell you that there is a book out there called Picking Right by a friend of mine named Daffy Levy, Levy, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, Daphna Levy, Picking Right. If that topic interests you, I'm not going to cover it too much today, but I do encourage you to get her book because it, it's, it's everything I believe and, and think about in that book. So how do you pick right? Well, you get the person you trust, okay? Then you find out your similarities. Like, like, is this someone that you wanna grow with that you're willing to go through growing pains with? Are you willing to stretch yourself? Are you willing to compromise certain things 
to make that person happy? Or um, are you willing to put yourself aside for the better of the group, which is the two of you? A group is two or more. That's the definition of a group, two or more. So Grant and I are a group. We expanded our group when we had kids. But look at that person, find out what you want and need, where you want to go in life. You write it down. You have the other person do the same. If the two, if you're willing to give this person everything that they want and need, I mean like that are the no compromise, you know, like on the no compromise list, like monogamous or drug free or um, wants to have a future, children. Some people are like, I never want children. These, like ever, and I'm not willing to change my mind on it. These two people might not want to hook up unless one can say, okay, I'm willing to give you that and not have children. I mean, like, you guys have to have these conversations before you get together and get married. Like, like are, we, are you even, like, legit for each other? Before I got with Grant, I never did that with a, a boyfriend. I just went in blindly based on, like, how I felt. Like, I just thought you just fall in love. Like, it just happens to you. And then you figure it out. And usually, I mean, that just was a disaster for me. But you don't have to compromise on, like, that in love feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I chose to be with Grant. And then the more he showed up as a man and the more trust we had, the more I fell in love with him and those feelings were there. Initially, I didn't have those feelings for him. Like I didn't just like, oh, I'm so in love with you. I like didn't even like him. I didn't even return his phone call for 13 months. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? My God, we have a lot of callers on the line, but we're going to go to break in a minute. Wants and needs are very important. Now, what do you do if you're with the person and you're already in the marriage, but you didn't know all these things and now you're figuring it out? Really quickly, okay, you have to find, like have the serious conversation, like how can you support each other even though? How can you support each other I'm gonna get back to that because they're making me go to a break. Don't they know who I am? Just kidding. <laughs> I just always wanted to say that. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> if you're looking for digital cash flow, other streams of income, and you know how important multiple streams of income are, have you ever thought about making money online with zero money to start with? Let the expert Coach Gianni help you do this. From Amazon sales to banner advertising, monetizing your website effectively so every click makes you money. Build an online brand that sells and make money off of your website starting right now. Coach Gianni offers comprehensive, simple coaching of how to make money online, how to monetize your website, and come out on top in an arena where everybody's trying to get positioned. Go to CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow. That's Coach CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow to get started with making money online. Work in your neighborhood with a lasting impression. A professional landscape can deliver that and more. And the man to bring it to you is Steve Griggs. Awarded the national best of house in client satisfaction in 2016 with clients such as Dr. Oz and the Palisade Center Mall in West Nyack. Steve Griggs is New York's best landscape designer. This isn't landscape design, this is lifestyle design. For more information, visit stevegriggsdesign.com. That's stevegriggsdesign.com. Bluestem is hiring. We are seeking motivated sales reps in the United States and Canada to work in the growing, lucrative market of drug-free solutions for effective pain relief and muscle performance training. Do it while having fun and most importantly, improving the quality of life for your customers. Truestim offers aggressive pay plans, company incentive trips, and a fast opportunity for growth and advancement within the company. Truestim trains its people on the number one sales training platform in the world, Cardone University. The best knowledge for sales combined together with the best marketing systems, culture, and support in the industry. Visit truestim.com forward slash careers. That's truestim.com forward slash careers and get started right now. There is only one thing that ensures the future of your business, communication. Information, business deals, new prospects, client management only functions with a strong communication platform. And that's our goal at Mango Voice to deliver quality customer interaction with the best business phone system on the planet. Connect your office with Mango Voice and enjoy mobility of taking calls from your cell phone, multiple office setup, no maintenance fees, secure cloud-based service. Mango Voice ensures your business future with perfect communication. 
Sign up right now for a free consultation at mangovoice.com forward slash sign up. That's mangovoice.com forward slash sign up. Hey, if you like the show today, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and post your comments. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. We are back. You're watching the G&E Show. Thank you so much. Every Wednesday, we are bringing it to you. We are not perfect. We are figuring it out. We say stick and stay is bound to pay. Today, we're talking about building an empire. I'm talking about picking the right partner. Find someone you trust and build an empire. It isn't always easy, but if you find the person you trust, you can build an empire. Of course, you have to have love. So it's all about the foundation. So many people call me, how do I get my spouse? How do I get my girlfriend on the same page? Well, I'm not in your relationship, so I don't know the ins and outs. That's up to you to figure out. But when y'all are both like totally fed and calm and not tired, you have to have a real honest communication and figure out who you are as a couple, who you are as a team, who you are as a partnership. And are you willing to grow with that person? Are you willing to experience certain things to make that relationship work? I mean, who are you as a couple? Um, when Grant and I got together, when we first got together, um, you know, call it selfish, whatever, but I was only ever used to thinking about only me because there was no family, there was no husband, there were no kids. I was a single chick in Los Angeles, like just trying to make a, an acting career, a living, you know, like who else is there to think about but myself? You know, so when you get into a relationship, I mean, in a marriage, for sure, like you're gonna have to start looking at the other person as like yourself, like as one, don't they say that? You come together as one? And like, are you willing to, to, to make those, like for instance, the day we got married, Grant was ready to move out of Los Angeles and have children. You know, talking about that wants and needs list. And I was like, um, you gotta give me three years on the, ch the children, cause I do want them, but like no way now. And I am so not ready to leave Los Angeles. And so he was totally patient. We didn't leave Los Angeles, but he was willing to give me that, even though he wanted something else. He was willing to let me get to my own like reality on that. And so, you know, three years later came and he's like, it's baby time. <laughs> Let's make some kids. Not that we weren't like practicing, but you know what I mean? Like he was ready and I was like, nope, I gotta buy another year. I got, I got, I need another year. And he was like, I'm like, I, I, I need another year, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So then, you know, but he was patient. He was willing to do that for me. By the time we, you know, finally did have kids, it, you know, God, you know, it's like, why didn't I do that sooner? I don't know. But anyway, my point is he wanted to leave Los Angeles, okay? And now I'm going to get into phase two. Like, be true if you're building the empire, picking the right person. Now, how do you build on that foundation? So I didn't want to leave Los Angeles. I didn't want to leave my acting career. I thought that's what I wanted, you know? But then when I got together with Grant, the purpose of us became greater than the purpose of that when I was single. The purpose of us as a group is to help people and to make a big difference on this planet. And so I finally got to this point where I was like, you know what? The acting was more like fulfilling this thing that I needed like I wanted, some self-gratification thing. But the, the, the viewpoint shifted on like, okay, Grant and I actually have, a, a, we can actually help people. He's got this whole Cardone University and all the stuff that he does that helps people. I'm like, you know, why am I not supporting that and like getting behind that? Realizing who I am as an asset. Like, am I an asset over here? I have friends that are, are, are actors and they're doing amazing and they can do that in the family life. And, but I was just talking about me. Like, where did I want to go? I wanted to go big. And back then I said, you know, these are all the little targets I want. Now these are super superficial physical universe targets, but one of them was I want a plane. Like, what do we have to do to get to a plane? You know, and Grant's like, well, we have to have 
meaning hundred million. Mean, okay, so that was the number. Okay, so we have to have that number to get the plane. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so it took ten years. But what does that look like? Ten years. It looks like throwing all of my power behind Grant because that's where I was more resourceful. So what did that look like? Okay, if our goal as a couple is to help people and he's doing a stream at 10 o'clock at night instead of coming to bed with me, like, am I gonna be like, come to bed with me? Or like, hey, you're doing your thing, you're helping more people. And money follows attention. Did y'all know that? Money follows attention. So the more attention you get for yourself, the more the energy, that's all money is, is energy. The more energy follows attention. But it has to be good attention, not like degraded attention, not like, you know, like a bum on the street, you know, but like somebody that's doing really good things. I mean, like Grant does on his streams, money follows attention. So, that was just a little inside secret there. Um, but anyway, so let me get back on track. Building an empire, find out your assets. Grant's assets are that he is a sales guy. He can push, he can do the uncomfortable things, he can hit it hard. What can I do? I can support that in every single way I can. Like, I look at Grant as my racehorse, like my thoroughbred. So what do I do for him? Am I whipping him when he needs to be to go faster and to get more? Hell yeah. But you know what else I'm doing? I'm freaking grooming, I'm feeding the vets, the vitamins. Like, what do you need? Like, you know, keep the bad horses that are gonna kick them away. Like, I will, I will do it all, you know? But I realize, I'm not the frickin' racehorse. He is. I'm the frickin' jockey. <laughs> I'm the frickin' jockey. You know? So I, we, we, we combine our roles really well and we don't cross the line. Like, my role also is the house. I say this before, like, you know, the kids, how well are the kids doing, the family, who's running that. So if he crosses into my territory, I'm like, knock it off. If I cross into business, I can give advice and help him in any way that I can, but I'm not making those decisions. So that's really clearly distinguished. If you're not on the same page as your partner, like let's say y'all are each doing your own thing, but you can still be working together with each other. Like this person can have this business and this person can be working in this business, but you gotta support each other. Like how do you think about supporting each other? Like if one person is doing, um, you know, selling books, uh, or, or plumbing, you know, it, would, it might be smart if the spouse isn't on social media promoting some other plumbing business. Like, you gotta be smart with this stuff, you know? How can you, how is that gonna look or feel to your spouse? You know what I mean? Like, how can you start thinking about these other areas? So, anyway, I mine for gold, I dig for gold every single day, you know? Grant, Grant actually helped me come up with this because he was like, you know, if you're not a gold digger, shame on you. So I am digging for gold every single day. How can I help Grant? Who do I know that I can say, here, get this for yourself because it's gonna improve you. You're gonna be better in life, which is gonna make you a better friend to me, which means we can go take nice trips together, you know? But like, I would have to put myself out there and do that for him. Anyway, we're gonna go to another break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching the G and E show. Gaining financial independence is what every person seeks in today's world. With so many options when it comes to investing, it can be confusing to know what to do. Specialized IRA services helps you know the right direction to go. Whether you are looking for a self-directed IRA, a retirement account, or need the know-how on funding a new business, Specialized IRA services help you gain control of your assets, your money, and your investments while being educated on the entire process. In removing Wall Street out of your investment, you can be sure to spend less on investment fees, taxes, and make more on your returns. Let the expert team at Specialized IRA Services help you transform your family legacy and secure your financial independence. Visit SpecializedIRAServices.com, that's SpecializedIRAServices.com, to register for more info and receive a free ebook on your guide to financial freedom. That's SpecializedIRAServices.com. Too many people are being kept from their dreams by circumstances they couldn't control and mistakes from a long time ago. All they needed was a second chance or a fresh start. That's why Cash Now was created. Since 1997, Ray Abood, owner of Cash Now, has been the premier expert in home renovation 
and resale in the York Tri-State area. Dedicated to premier customer service, getting the best deals at the lowest price, this is the only expert company you should deal with when it comes to buying and selling a home. Offering a five-step home buying process, Ray and his team will ensure your needs are covered and get you closer to your dreams of buying a home in any city across the United States. To find out more on how you can get started on owning or selling a home, visit CashNowPA.com. That's CashNowPA.com to get started. Style, fun, experience, and the best food on the planet, Brick City Grill, family owned and located in the Somerset portion of Ames, Iowa, voted best food in Iowa in 2016. Everything fresh, everything American, rated the best sports grill in Iowa. This family oriented environment was built to enjoy the best of life with your friends, your family, and your coworkers. With the highest quality food, watch the game, meet new people, and create your experience at Brick City Grill. For more information, visit BrickCityGrill.com. That's BrickCityGrill.com. Hello, and thank you for watching the G&E Show. You guys are so awesome, so great. I love like-minded people like yourselves that are willing to do whatever it takes to better yourself, better yourself as, uh, in, in relationships with your family, your friends. I really appreciate it, so thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank awesome Mike who came in here this morning because he saw a Facebook live stream I did Saturday night and he said that it really inspired him. So thank you for that. That was so cool. Um, we are talking about building an empire. Number one, I said pick right or get your spouse on the same page. Figure out who you are as a couple and then constantly work on that and go for that goal. Sometimes it helps with the fight. Sometimes you can prioritize, is this a fight I'm really worth fighting for? Or can they be right? Can you just let the other person be right and say you're right, even though you think they're not? Like, who cares? Like, really? You know? Like, I think about that all the time when we're in a fight. I'm like, do I really want to fight over something stupid like you're always leaving the toothbrush in a puddle of water? Like. <laughs> You know, like we have separate toothbrush, but he steals mine. And my, you know, like, no, just have spare toothbrushes in my drawer. You know, like figure out how to handle things. Like I, I've, I've yelled at him enough over it. It's never changing. And I give you that little example because it's nothing. Sometimes they're a lot bigger, you know, but figure out how you can freaking handle it. Come up with your own solutions. Figure out how to s things, you know. Okay, so digging for gold as a couple. Grant and I dig for gold together. We have dug for gold all the frickin' time. I dig for gold in my relationships with my children. Like, I want gold there. I want, I want to be the best mother. I want to have the best children that are really in good, honest communication, who have love in their hearts, who want to help people, who want to better themselves and challenge themselves. How can I create a safe environment for them to flourish? How can I allow them to make mistakes without always being like, you're wrong, why did you do that? I told you not to touch that. Like, you know, you have to bite your tongue as a parent, especially when you're running late. It's not easy, it's not, it's hard. I'm always thinking, I messed up, I could have been better, but I'm digging for gold. I'm digging for gold in my marriage. How can I make it better? How can I support him better? How can I, you know, how can I work on myself, you know? If there's something he's doing wrong, how can I work on myself to make myself better so that those things don't seem wrong anymore? Usually when he's doing something wrong, it's because honestly, I'm doing something and using that as a justification or an excuse to, to let me do something that's not right with myself. That's the real deal for me. For me, what do what, 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 I go, Italian all of a sudden? I am Italian, by the way. So we're digging for gold. Grant and I, very rarely, like in 12 years, we, we don't do vacations. We combine it with business. We, we, we don't usually go out to dinner alone. We usually have other people with us that make it more valuable. I mean, not that we're not, but you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're mining for gold. And in family and relationships, you know, sometimes the goal isn't going to be there. There's just not going to be gold. Okay. You work hard to dig the gold and sometimes there's just no gold. Okay. You don't have to beat yourself up or try to create fool's gold. Sometimes there's just no freaking gold. Okay, so how are you gonna deal with that? This person, this relationship, you're not getting away from them. You're not getting rid of them. They're there. You know, when you marry into a relationship, they come with people, you know? And sometimes you have to learn how to deal with those people. And sometimes there's just no gold. So how can you deal with it? Okay, well, 
accept the fact, don't natter about it, don't criticize, keep your freaking mouth shut, try to be as socially polite, keep your manners in, but you don't have to freaking keep digging for gold when there's no gold. Anyway, side note. Third part. We do have some callers. Oh, this is so awesome. If you want to call in, 305-865-8668, although I'm going to tell you a little secret. Grant loves the callers. Uh, not so much myself. Third part, okay? This is the most important part about building it's not the most important. I think picking right is the most important. But it's very important in the empire building phase, okay? Is the future, the future picture, okay? What does it look like? What do you want? My future picture was helping people, giving to my church. And I'm talking in the hundreds of millions. Are we there yet? No. Tens of millions? You know, how can I help? Right now, I'm doing Operation Santa Slay with a local guy that I met on Instagram, Brad Barreto. I hope I said your name right. But we're going to deliver toys to the underprivileged children in Miami. Why am I telling you that? Because you've got to think outside of yourself. You know, you think outside of yourself. You help contribute with the relationship. Then you go to the community. How can I better improve the community? This makes you better. It makes you bigger. It makes you think in big ways. That's empire building. You know, how can I help mankind? How can I help the planet? How can I help animals and life? How can I think in terms of spirituality? Whatever it is, the, the sphere gets bigger. Like, I take all that into consideration you know, in building an empire. Like, how can I expand greatness? So the future picture, what does it look like? I want my marriage thriving. I know it's not always easy, you know, but 95% of the time we are laughing. We have a sense of humor. We're working towards the same goals. We are buddies. We are such buddies. We're best friends. Like, we want to hang out and spend time together all the time. Like, I am so grateful for that. But it's not something that just happened. It's created. So. Community, future picture. I want community. I want to be helping my community. I want to be giving to my church. I want to have freedom, financial freedom, spiritual freedom. What do I have to do? How do I improve myself? What courses can I take? What books can I read? What people do I surround myself with? How, who's going to help me get there? Who wants me to win? You know? I want others to win. I, I will do whatever it takes. If I believe in a cause and believe in a person, I will back you. And that's the kind of people I want. I want like soldiers. I want an army behind me, you know? Like the world is an amazing place, but there are some people out there that I am now at a place in my life where I'm willing to confront that evil does exist. It's out there. I can confront it now. I have seen it firsthand attacked on me like there's just you know no more naivete you know the bigger you get in your empire expect a little bit of that you know Grant and I a few years back you know look when we were building our empire in the beginning Grant and I got married he was successful is he where he is now hell no but you know that 10 years that I'm talking about until we did get the plane status there was no Chanel. I didn't buy Chanel until I was 32. That was the first time I ever owned anything with Chanel on it. Did I even care? I wasn't even thinking like that. I was like, how can I help? How can we grow this? I don't need fancy things. I don't need expensive things. I'm at a point in my life where I like nice things. I like expensive things. We've earned it as a couple, and we are at a place now where our family is not in a liability if I have nice things, the Chanel. You know, it, if Grant told me tomorrow, if the whole world went to, you know, hell in a handbasket, whatever that saying is, if it all had to stop, it'd be done like that. If I needed to sell everything on eBay, I'd do it in a heartbeat. I'd be like, okay, ground zero, what do we have to do? I have your back, because that's not changing. Like, the nice things are the rewards because it's future. You know, back then, that was future. What do I want? I want the little things. I want this. I want to go to nice trips. I want vacations. I want to give to my, to my church. I want to do this. So once you start that, check them off, you know? When we hit that target, I went to Grant. I said, it's time. Plain time. It's plain time. You said, and Grant was scared. Because, you know, he's the provider of the family. It's plain time. 
<laughs> he's scared, you know? You know You know what it takes to run this thing? Yep, I do. I know what it takes to run. Well, I don't, I didn't at the time. Actually, I had to do my research. But yeah, I know, but you said, and it's so important to do what you say. You can't change the game. We had a game, you gave me a target, we hit it. Now you need, we need to, we need to give that to ourselves as a celebration and an acknowledgement because we're not putting ourselves in financial risk. We're not breaking any condition with ourselves. You know, this can only bring us to another level because it's going to make us grow. And it has, we got the plane, the income, I think it's doubled. I think the first hundred was the hardest. And now it's like an avalanche effect. It's easier and easier. You did the first, you did the first goal. Now it's just easier and easier. Now it's like, it's like a well-oiled machine, you know? So the, you, you, and we don't stop. We didn't hit a target and go, oh, it's time to go on a six month tour of the world. And you know, a lot of people do that. They hit a target or something and then they want to take off or they don't want to keep hitting it. They don't have that continual motivation. You know, have you ever seen that? I've done it. Grant's so much better at that than me. So as a couple, keep your head and mind and focus on the future. Grant and I have meetings on this all the time. Where are we going? What does it look like? Who is with us? We have a saying, Grant and I say, no matter what, whoever comes in and out of our lives, doesn't matter. In the end, it's me and you. We will never not have each other. It's me and you. We're the frickin' rock. We're the foundation that it's all built on. The kids don't come between us. Life doesn't come between us. Nothing comes between us. We are the frickin' rock that we built the empire on. Lastly, the future, okay? Hold the frickin' picture there and paint your picture every day. Even when you see the losses or when, oh, this is what I was gonna say, you know, as you build your empire, people try to attack you, you know, and they try to take what's yours and what you earned for worked for because they're, they're called criminals. They want something in exchange for nothing. How many lawsuits have we had over BS type things? We had this one lawsuit back in 2008 when the whole world was crashing. Now I'm pregnant or 2009. Now I'm pregnant. We're like, what are we going to do? You know, we got a lawsuit. The lawyer fees, the lawyer fees were a million dollars to settle the suit was several more, you know, but we wanted to settle. You know why? Because we can create. We know we have each other. We know we can get whatever it takes to paint our picture. So we said, you know what? Bend over, frickin' take it, and move on because that person is a criminal. They don't know how to work. They don't know anything about earning anything that's legit theirs. So they can go have it because they'll blow it anyway, and they'll be a frickin' loser. And you know what? Success is the best revenge. How can you take our life there and turn it into such a success that we are everywhere and they have to see our faces all the freaking time because we are making success and helping more people have success and it's in your face. But you know what? While we were going through that and it was stressful, I would tell Grant, you know what? These are big boy problems. These are big girl problems. These are empire building problems. We no longer have little problems. These are big problems. And you know what? When you grow, you're gonna get bigger problems. Figure them out. It's just a game. Life is just a game. You just gotta solve it. What's he done? He's created like an untouchable like wealth of products to throw at the world for whoever is there to have them, want them, need them, and you know, success, created success for himself. Lastly, then I'm gonna take John from Texas. Lastly is, this is so important, when you have the future there, you have to be willing to let go of the past. That's over, it's done. If you can learn a lesson from it, like, like that lesson from the, the beep hole, what do I learn? I don't let people in just because they, I think they're my friends. Like, like I really have to look. There were red flags, I ignored them. I was like, oh, they're my friends, they're so cool. We were in their wedding, da, 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 da. you know? No, 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 I saw problems, I saw signs, I ignored them. So how do I use that but not let it own me? I protect our world, I protect our space. If you're our friend, it's because I've been checking you out. I freaking watch like a freaking hawk who can be around my racehorse. 
because I want a freaking winner and I'm willing to do whatever to protect him. And if it means this person freaking disappears and Grant's like, whatever happened to so-and-so? And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. You know, like I'm willing to do that. But if I spot it and I and I know I'm right, you are freaking gone, you know, like gone. Because I want him operating at full capacity, not only for me, but for you. So lastly, God, how many times can I freaking get? Can I freaking get to lastly? The past. Sometimes we've all done things in the past that we're not proud of. You can't use it and keep throwing it in the face of your partner. Like, get over it. Once the person has made up the damage to you, it's done. It's in a new unit of time. You're going forward. Stop replaying the past. Stop throwing it. You're holding yourselves back from getting to that empire that you want. Like, move on. Like, that to me is such a powerful lesson. Now, we'll take John from Texas and we'll wrap up. John, what's going on? Hey, howdy, what's going on? This is John. I was calling in listening to your show, and I uh, just wanted to say, you know, I'm a strong believer that while I do have money and stuff and all that good stuff, that, you know, my integrity and who I am as a person comes before any of that stuff. And even with all that stuff that I have, it means nothing without me being a good person and uh, having character and hard work ethic and getting out there and getting it. That is so true. Thank you so much for sharing that. I 1 million percent agree with John. Like, what is the purpose of having, you know, it all if you don't share and like just make a difference and try to be a better person, you know? I read a quote the other day that was like, what was it? Like, if you, ex like, oh man, I wish I would have this right. But the concept was like, don't expect me to be the same person that I am now when I started this journey because <laughs> darn it I messed it up but the point is is you have to grow you know keep yourself who you are to the core of what your purposes are but you will have to grow you will have to become like a warrior you will have to become a queen, a king, uh, a ruler make hard decisions if you want to own your empire and create it and rule it so I hope this has helped you all um, build, give you a little foundation of building your empire. Find the one you trust, build your empire, make it great, put whatever you want in it. You know, mine has trinkets. I like trinkets, okay? I like sparkly things. I like, I like, I like expensive things, even my guns, okay? My guns are expensive. I'm sorry, I like expensive stuff. Can I do without it? Absolutely. Do I need it? No. Does it like, is it like on my wants and needs list? No. But I do need somebody who's ethically ambitious, who's willing to do whatever it takes, who's willing to go be successful for the family and for the community and for mankind. Like that's my list. Like I think big thoughts. Like I want to make a difference on the planet. I want to be known on the planet. Okay. So maybe in the next 10 years, I will accomplish that goal. But I think that big. You know, and I want to be around people that think that big. So you decide what's your world, what's your empire look like. And I can't wait to like go cross it one day and let the journeys intertwine and see how awesome we can actually make this place. So thanks for watching the G&E show. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being you. Thank you for working hard, for hustling, for having love in your heart, for compassion for others. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making a difference in our world. You guys are my friends. You will always be my friends if you got love in your heart and hustle in your muscle, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> I'll see you next Wednesday on the G&E Show. Check out GrantCardoneTV.com, all my Facebook people all the other people watching on the digital network. I really appreciate your support. I'm gonna use a second to promote my thing, okay? The 10X women's leggings are on Grant Cardone TV. I think there's four styles now I'm so excited about. Okay, ladies, uh, gentlemen, Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, Hanukkah gifts. Okay, check it out. If you like the 10X leggings, they're awesome. You have my word. I have worked out in them. They're cool as 
badonk a donk and I've done my errands in them and they make me like, you know, hopefully, they make me like hot mom status. <laughs> anyway, check them out. If the women's line does well, maybe we can have more women's line. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Stick and stay is bound to pay. Make it work. Figure it out. What's the purpose? I love you. See you next time.